We talk very often about the ULEZ zone within London, don't we, and all the uh, pitfalls and consequences of what's going on and how people are reacting. What we don't talk about a lot is what's going on on the other side of Hadrian's Wall, namely Glasgow. They've got their own low emission zone up there, and you won't believe what I've just found out. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're well. Thank you very much for joining me again. Good to see you. And as always, I appreciate the support. Please continue to keep pushing all the right buttons, hitting the like, leaving comments and sharing all the content everywhere, particularly stuff like this. And it really helps the channel grow. For that, I am eternally grateful. Well, <laughs> I'll tell you what, if ever I've seen hypocrisy, this really takes a biscuit. As you know from uh, content I've covered in the past, there is a low emission zone in Glasgow, and apparently it's quite a pricey one. If you go in there, you know, you, you've got to pay up. Now, it turns out that the Glasgow uh, council that are running this have got a bit of a problem in that there's quite a large number of their own vehicles which aren't compliant with the new uh, low emission zone. So you can't go in there quite simple do you know how they solved the problem yes they just hired new ones mm. so there's many people like you and i who are out there that really can't afford to buy a new compliant vehicle tradesmen taxi drivers care workers just charities the list is endless we just can't afford to do it yet a local council, Glasgow local council, with money probably raised off the back of the Scottish version of council tax or however it's funded up there, goes out and spends money on new vehicles. You want to know how much? Listen to this brief excerpt and I'll tell you. The SNP run council running Scotland's first low emission zone has admitted a third of its vehicles are too old to enter the city centre without incurring penalties. Glasgow has pioneered the pollution-busting scheme since 2018, yet almost 600 of its cars and vans still do not comply with environmental requirements. At the same time, Glasgow City Council has spent £236,000 hiring vehicles, which it can now send into the restrictive zone. And everybody everywhere is saying the same thing. Hypocrisy. Hypocrites. Well, uh, you know, this all came about from a Freedom of Information request to find out exactly what, how much, why and when. Quite a powerful tool. I leave a link in the description below so you can read more of this, particularly if you live up that neck of the woods. Let me know what you think. I'm flabbergasted, but not entirely surprised. Anyway, I'm off. That's it for the day, unless anything turns up. Thank you once again for all your support. I'll see you tomorrow with more content. Toodaloo.